Hey there, welcome to Motion Products. My name is Michael. Today we're going to take a look at a viewer's question. And the question is, can you customize Bubble to use Postmark to send out emails for password resets or email confirmations and set it up in Bubble with an API connector and then customizing the email password reset flow so that you can use the templates. So without any further ado, let's go. What we're going to first take a look at is the scenario where we need to reset the password. So I'm just going to go in here and show what the existing workflow looks like. So hello at motionandproduct.com. And let's send the reset link. So now we're in Gmail. And we're just going to refresh and we see that this is the standard message that comes from Bubble um, as a message. And to click on the reset, you can click on here. And once you're in here, then you can reset your password. The downside of this approach is that, you know, the only thing you can actually introduce here is a link. You can't change this to a button or do anything interesting or provide um, a better layout for this. So this is where we're going to take a look at using postmark templates and customizing the workflow for resetting an email in Bubble. Let's go back to our Bubble application. And we look at the design view. This is the sign up. What we're more interested in right now is the login flow. So we go like that. That's what that looks like. But when we click on reset password, that shows this form. So I just hide that for a bit. And then what we're more interested in is the workflow that gets kicked off when you click send reset link. So if we go into there, buttons and reset link is clicked. If we look on there, there's a standard bubble action and that's uh, where you take the input email the subject and then it passes it on and the inside here what you don't see is the link and that's something that bubble adds automatically to it so what we're going to do now is try to use postmark and the way we're going to do that is to set up a email uh, template that's specifically for resetting a password and sending the necessary information into it from Bubble to Postmark. So let's get into the template side of Postmark. So once you're in Postmark, if you click on templates, you'll get taken to a page similar like this. You can click Add Template, and that will surface bunch of different templates that are available for you to use. The one that we're interested in here is Password Reset. If you click on Best Practices Guide, they will tell you more information about what makes a really good uh, password reset page. So if you want to understand what information you should include and why, it's a great resource to check out. So if we click on Password Reset, um, So if you want to see what this template might look like, you can just click on the little plus sign here and it gives you a little preview of what this uh, template would look like. Yeah, that looks good. And then you can click choose. And so uh, this is my password reset uh, template. And by default, it shows you the HTML and this is the preview. So uh, these are all variable names. So product name, value, name, value, all these things here are, are variables that you can set. So if you click on this value, uh, this button over here, edit test va variables, you can say, say I put YouTube in here, YouTube tutorial. And what's going to happen right here is just going to refresh and show you where that value is going to pop up. So name here is actually the person's name. So cool. Uh, I'll change that to my name just to see what that might look like in real life. And then this one I can change to YouTube tutorial. We'll see that that updates. 
so that's a really good visual way of seeing how the different variables will affect my template um, so I can just undo that by pressing Control Z and you can see that everything's back to where it was great I just want to show you this also to show you that you can just edit and remove things to your heart's content in this and it's fine right um company name company name, operating system browser name do not need that support url don't need that as well so you can save that yeah this is my template that's ready to be used uh, within bubble the key things that you need to remember is the id which is the number that's up in here it's an eight digit number and the api token and so if you click on the api token there'll be a server api token and all. so we have our subject here and let's see if it works so if we send a test you can send a test email from here and send tests and that will get sent we can see that one this just got sent so this is what it actually will look like in email in the email if you don't change any of the variable names in here cool um, so the other way to test this is to use the postmark api Exp explorer and the way you get to that so you can click on templates api reference this page opens and send an email with template is the one that we're using right now so here we have send email with template and it talks about what's required like these are the things that are needed to be sent um and if you click on try what happens is that you get sent into the api explorer and for us what we're doing is testing the email with template so I can set up my postmark uh, server token which I got from earlier and inside my body I need to populate that with my template ID and in here I can change the different properties so what I did here was just copy everything into template model and by default it's blank so I just copied all the things that were what I did was just copy that, go into here, and then for this area here from that curly bracket all the way down to up to here. And then I can click on try it out. And if everything's happy, you'll see a response of 200. Now, let's say I got that wrong and I missed a comma and I click on try it out what happens now is that I'll get a 422 error um, so it's an invalid JSON input but it's very hard to like detect what's going on in here so what you could do is copy whatever you have in there and try out um, online validator so if you stick um, your JSON file in here and you click validate JSON it'll highlight what's missing or like what could be missing it doesn't know what you're trying to do so in this example I mean I can just add that try it out and life is good cool so now we have all the information that we need here to of what we need to send to postmark so that it can populate our template the key things I need to remember here is the request URLs, the request headers, and for the body of it, it's everything from this curly bracket after the D all the way up to here. So I'm just going to cut and paste and copy that right now and jump into my bubble app again. So my API connector um, for the header, I need the postmark server token. So if I go back to here, that's this part over here. And I'm going to add a shared headers for all calls that says accept application slash JSON. So what I'm just doing is 
emulating exactly what the request header here looks like. I probably could put this into the shared header up here, and that's fine. I'm adding a call here, and this is the API for postmark. And just gonna slap in the the JSON um, text that was there before, and click reinitialize call. So that's all connected. So that's all good. Now I go back to my application, send reset link. What we're gonna do is add the step to send the email to the user using Postmark instead of the default. Uh, bubble API. So the first thing we need to do is tell this step not to send the email and in fact to just make the token and don't send the email. Once that's done, we're going to go into plugins, look for the API that we just created, and inside here we can say we can add this as dynamic data of the current user. It's here. This is Product name, um, ocean product, um, so I'm just going to put postmark just so we know that it's coming from there. And the action is the value of the button. So we're going to generate a, the URL or the path to the page, the reset password page. Reset password, that's the name of the page. Um, so that's referring to this reset password page here. And if I go back into here, and what we're going to do is there's a value that's expecting the token that we got from our previous step. So I'm going to insert dynamic data, result of step one. And that's it. That's the steps to take that in there. I'm going to close that. If you have time, you can like fill this out properly. I have my template ID there. That looks good. And so close that for now. And I'm going to move this to go here. And one, two, three. That sounds like some good steps there. Click back to here. Let's see this in action. So I forgot my email, so let's try this again. So I'm going to send the reset link. Hey, I got the motion product password. It has postmark. That just proves that that's the same one. If I click reset your password, it will open up the app and take me to the reset password page and there is the token that I took from the previous step and that's how you can customize your bubble reset password using postmark templates all right so that, that was it for today's video if you found this helpful please click like and if you have a future question leave a comment click subscribe so that you get notified the next time I answer your question or I cover a topic that's useful to you in your path in building product. Hopefully you can join us again so that we can build better products together in the future. Bye!